Oh my gosh, everybody. Oh my gosh, everybody. Oh my gosh, everybody. Oh my gosh, everybody. We are on the verge of pushing the Bidens out of office. I have never seen such stupidity in my life, my friends. And I just want to say, I feel the love from everybody in my life. Today's Arthur's birthday. And when you're twin flames, like we are, you know, we're like a diphthong. Does anybody out there know what a diphthong is? A diphthong, it's two letters, two vowel sounds together, like an O-A in boat. That's a diphthong. <laughs> yeah. That's a diphthong, right? This is what I'm teaching my students at my private academy, not my personal private academy, but I've been so blessed to be employed at this wonderful educational institution. And let me tell you about cognitive dissonance, my friends. Right, the term cognitive dissonance has been in the news a lot lately. Let me tell you about cognitive dissonance, my friends. To keep my voice down because my dear housemate, Emmy, is a bit under the weather. Everybody in my life is very private, right? I'm the public person, right? But my network is huge, people. And I've shown that time and time again. And talking about cognitive dissonance, I'm just developing my material a little bit more for the improv. Oops, I wanted to get rid of my... I just had a major cry outside. It was such a cathartic release, but um, I actually then cried all over my joint. And it's okay because I just got like something like 28 joints. <laughs> I just got a shit ton of weed. Am I able to stand here for a second? I just got a shit ton of weed for so cheap and exactly my style and I was like yo people this is what I'm talking about you know it's like come on people on today's Arthur's birthday when you're twin flames like we are it feels like it's your own birthday I felt the love today so much and I was talking about my love for Arthur today I was talking about it to one of my students and I completely forgot that everybody could hear everything where I am. There's an open plan space. And here I am telling my story about why I'm living separately from Arthur. And I was like, sometimes in life, you just have to do your thing and you need to put all your attention to it. And I was like, you know, I mean, and my student who's profoundly deaf is talking to me like a champion, right? I'm seeing the power of intensive reading and practice and, you know, positive reinforcement. And yet when I read the news, what is it that I'm reading, right? I'm reading, oh, every day now, right? More and more shit comes out about how the Bidens have been lying to us. Why is this KJP person still in office? I'm so sick. Nobody's held accountable anymore, right? Yes, I'm being roasting. Excuse me, as my students say, I'm being roasty. No, I'm roasting, my friends. I'm roasting this fucking country. Who the fuck are these people, people? Right? Jill... They didn't even have a fucking plan B, yo. I was like, you know, I don't pay attention to this bullshit. I mean, they rigged the election the last time, and the New York Times is slow to get to it, but I'm catching up on the news right now because my own narrative is finally together. They did try to fucking sack me at Gettysburg. I said, thank you. Right? I mean, what are you going to do, motherfuckers? You're going to say that I'm a crazy person? <laughs> I had just got in my PhD. It's Arthur's birthday. He's 41. And it's the third day of the three days. Let me keep it moving because the dog is fucking freaking me out. Thank you, David Abram. That's an inside joke. You know, we are too smart for this crapola. Why is it only up to Biden? Since when is the fate of the United States of America up to the decision of one person? 
in what planet, right? I was so glad, you know, I've been such a critic of the New York Times and it's so, like everything else, it's a shell of what it used to be. Thank you, Arthur, for that language. It's a shell of what it used to be. And yet, you know, it's still the most comprehensive news out there along with the Washington Post, right? I was a journalist, people. <laughs> you know, it's so outrageous. Right? And it's as soon as the New York Times said, right, he should step aside, and they said no. What, excuse me, what Democratic, they're all talking about, oh, um, no, this is, this, is, this is what passes for idiocy in the Democratic Party. Right, they're all talking about, oh, this is the best president on the economy since LBJ? Since, no, excuse me, since FDR. I'm sorry, but food prices are so expensive. I don't even go out to eat. It's so expensive, so much more expensive than four years ago. <sighs> so what is this record, Barbara Boxer? Right, Nancy Pelosi, all you fucking motherfuckers, get the fuck out of here. Right, we're cleaning up people. Right, you think I would endorse any of this to my students? No, I'd say you can, unfortunately, our president is lying to us. Right? And his stupid ass wife. First of all, she has no fashion sense. What the fuck was that butterfly bullshit she was wearing the other day? <laughs> Seriously, people. Right? My students, my six year old students are smarter than these idiots. Right? It's like talk to me like I'm in kindergarten, right? You actually have to talk to Biden like he's in kindergarten. Right? <laughs> They're all talking about, let me just wrap up here because then I want to chill, right? They're all talking about all these Democrats. Oh, that no incumbent Democratic president has lost the election in however many years, blah, 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 blah. Let's flip that around. Let's turn that around. What we could we do? Excuse me, no man, I got tongue tied. Let's flip that around, turn it around like we do in Hollywood, in comedy and stand-up, right? Seriously, people. I mean, at the improv, we think this is a joke. I'm not speaking for the improv, I'm speaking for me, my understanding of the improv, my beloved community. Hey, what would Dr. King think about this bullshit, right? Let <laughs> alone Malcolm X. I'd be like, hang them all. I'd be like, exactly. Hang them up like fucking, you know, paper mache dolls and set them aflame, you know? <laughs> Let's turn it around. What Democratic president has ever won the presidency without the backing of the New York Times? <laughs> I mean, the New York Times didn't endorse Trump, right? We would have to go all the way back to um, at least George W. Bush. I don't know whether they endorsed Bush or not, right? And here's the last piece of it. Fuck the Obamas and fuck the Clintons. I'm sitting here thinking, wow, nobody's taking responsibility for this. Neither Hillary, nor Bill, nor Obama is supposedly in, you guys, you guys hearing this, right? You're hearing this. Everybody out here is hearing this, right? Is everybody out there hearing this, my friends? The Obamas and the Clintons now have the audacity of hope, right, to say that they were not close enough to Joe Biden to even have a conversation with them. That's strange because I swear I saw, right, Bill Clinton and Barack glad handing Obama all uh, excuse me Biden all over the place right what white washing their hands right because Obama made all his bullshit up this is community organizing right they're all criminals just like my parents taught me thank you mom and dad they're all criminals right this is where I left off in my intellectual work people I was starting to make the point in my long form argument, scholarly, right? 
that the concept of corruption as some foreign practice, right, in South Africa, right, or in India, somehow that that corruption was endemic to those societies and somehow it wasn't endemic to our societies here in the West, right? When in fact, right, mercantilism, right, here's things they don't talk about anymore, right, because it is true Right, in this fucking Project 2025 thing, which is way overrated, right? It is true they want to abolish the Department of Education, but that has been a goal of the far right for so long. But what is going on? People can't, people can't remember before the pandemic, okay? And that's the final piece of this. Let's everybody start to acknowledge that a whole fucking lot of people in this country and in this world lost their fucking minds during the pandemic. And I would venture to say that it was primarily those in the Western white countries, because as I've also been trying to make the argument for such a long time, we people are dumb. Right? White people are dumb. Right? Why people are dumb. Gringos are dumb. Dumb, 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 right? <laughs> it's like, how the fuck does Biden, as I keep saying, pose as a Catholic when he's just overseen the slaughter of some 40,000 people in Canaan? Okay? If you keep going back in history, you will see that Israelis and Palestinians are the same fucking people as everybody's been trying to say for quite some time now, right? Just like say, I don't know, black and white Americans are the same fucking people. We all became the same together, right? (laughs) I mean... It doesn't take in hardly any brain cells to realize that if the goal of human life is to stay alive then people who are bent on killing other people at such enormous scales that can only be achieved, such enormous scales such that can only be achieved by hugely powerful states with hugely precise weapons, with hugely large sums of money behind them, that that goes against the very concept of life, right? I mean, I'm in Glendale. If suddenly a gang of people went around killing indiscriminately the people in Armenian majority Glendale, People would now say, based on what I can see in X, group chat for Earth, talk about consciousness and not embodiment, that people done have lost their minds, like I've been saying for four years now. And this is a leap year, people. So time is out of joint. Thank you, Shakespeare. Thank you, Hamlet. Thank you to my friends at the University of Virginia, and thank you to my friends at Yale. I boast, but I will most definitely be collecting my fellowship at Yale this year. I also really want to hand it to Columbia, because at the end of the day, we got to see exactly the tactics of the far right Zionist alliance. 
right? Allied universal people. Follow the money. Act up. Act out. Some people say I'm Larry Kramer, born again. It's true, I did interview him at his home off Greenwich Village. He lived in one wing of that big white C-shaped building, conch-shaped, and Ed Koch, that closet homo, lived in the other. Thank you, Jeremy O'Harris, and thank you, Arthur Paul Sanchez and Jonathan Gonzalez for giving me cojones and don't forget his way. And you know what? I'm gonna fucking talk about, yeah, okay, fine. I'm also gonna count in Joshua Michael Cruz because I was really fucking irritated by that. I was like, excuse me, you could have liked my comment, dude. I was like, I fucking had the nerve to text my fucking ex-partner Scott today. And he says to me, who's this? I was like, what do you mean, who's this? How many people do you know who text you love Sean? S-E-A-N. I was like, meanwhile, right, there's a Mr. Robot walking around my learning center that I'm working at this summer as a clinician slash instructor. I'm learning so much about the reading process and how best fertile young minds grow and it turns out that those minds should not be watching the news they most certainly should not be watching any television shows madonna is right i haven't watched any television in four years that i've never felt better and they should be doing the classical arts Right? That is to say, the fine arts. They should be learning an aesthetic education. Thank you, Gayatri. And thank you, Saidia. And thank you, Sadia. And thank you, Christina Sharp. Thank you, Simone Lee. Thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank y'all for seeing me. Right? It's like I'm practicing my lines. I'm like, I can't wait to see Caroline next week and when she's be like, what up? And I'm going to be like, yo, you know what? Ever since I saw my Cairo in Hollywood, Last week, I've never been better. And I felt like that was the best. I really got to go up to Kindra. What? <laughs> Kindra Wu. That was dope as fuck today. And I have to tell you, I have a little bit of a pain in my tummy here. But I know it's just my aches and pains. Thank you for seeing me as Woody Allen. But also thank you for seeing me as Vanessa Redgrave. Fuck yeah. Right? This fucking Dr. David... Dr. Eli David? People done have lost their minds, people roasting a play. Thank you, Cape Blanchett. I was like, how on earth is this child? I was like, there is no way this cutie patootie Asian young person who's now getting her hair done while I'm watching her and she does use she her pronouns people the kids know we follow the children that's what Whitney Houston taught me so they keep saying to my parents I'm like oh my gosh and I said to my friends the other day my colleagues all the youngsters I was like hey Laura Lee what's up my friends you know I it's just about positive reinforcement the point of life thank you Viola Davis thank you Denzel thank you Ethan Oh my gosh, I just, I love my life again, people. Thank you. It took, it took, well, it took four years to get here. I'm going to wrap this up, but I'm over the moon. I just, I just had an enormous cry outside. I just read all this bullshit up on the thing, but I mean it. Like, I, there is no, there is no reason whatsoever that Kamala Harris should not take over. Why can't she just invoke somebody? This is where this is going, by the way. This is where this is going, by the way. Right? I can't wait. This is going straight up. Thank you, VV. This is where this is going, by the way. This is where this is going, by the way. Right? I mean, they're going to invoke. This is go. Everybody knows this is going to the Supreme Court right? And they're going to side against Biden, right? And also, people are fully misunderstanding 
John Roberts says, do you hear the cracking people? People are fully misunderstanding John Roberts' reasoning. This is to protect all presidents going forward. This was a good decision because they're reading the tea leaves. And unfortunately, we see what happens with identity politics hires, right? Katenji Brown, fuck? And fucking Sonia Sotomayor? Since when do Supreme Court, again, thank you, Elon Musk. Since when do Supreme Court justices opine on uh, the moral issues of the time? Their job is to read the law. Thank you, John Roberts. Fuck Gorsuch, fuck Clarence Thomas. Remember, it's Joe Biden who gave us Clarence Thomas, right, by refusing, refusing to investigate fully Anita Hill's experiences, which were validated. Thank you, Kerry Washington. What is going on here, people, right? His advisor, his best advisor is on the one hand, his stupid ass wife, who has zero fashion sense, and on the other hand, his stupid ass drug addict son, who was just convicted on weapons charges, people. This is worse than Nixon, right? It's worse than Nixon, right? And all along, I'm like, you know, Biden must have had some real shit and all these people to have stayed around for so long, and apparently he does. But all scandals come to an end and we are now seeing the end of it. And you know what, Hillary, if you had a role in this, because I see that you have your book coming, because it is true, Hillary was swindled. She should have, she, you know, she deserved that election. And I've been a huge critic of her and she knows it because I did interview her. I looked her in the eyes. Like Bush looked pooted in the eyes or however the fuck that joke. When I interviewed her out here in Hollywood, I give her credit because that book is gonna be something. I'd like to hear her account because she did become insulated. She won that election fair and square, just like Al Gore won that election fair and square. The Electoral College is a residue of slavery, just like liberal democracy is. Just wait till I get my hands on Merlo Ponti's Humanism and Terror. Thank you, David Abram, my fellow Long Islander. Thank you, Wests. I taught at Hillel Hebrew Academy, people. I didn't violate BDS. I worked privately through an outside agency. Noah. I worked with more than one Jewish Noah. I mean, my father just confirmed for me that I am Jewish. Thank you, Papa. My last name is Schwartz, because I already have a notion that people are going to say, oh, don't go by Sean MP professionally, right? That's your artist's name. Fine. Well, you know, I'm going to go for a professional event, Sean Schwartz. All right? Fuck you, Ned and Yahoo. Jesus fucking Christ. Right? It's the Christians and the Jewish people, the extremists in both large tent parties who are collaborating to drive the Palestinians out and complete some sick, fucked up fantasy about suicide. It's a fucking suicide pact, people. Seriously. Because you know what? For as inspiring a set of narratives as scripture is, it has no basis in history at all. Israel belongs to all of us, and any theologian in the Abrahamic tradition, or at least the Judeo-Christian tradition, would certainly agree with me. And definitely the Yale Sacred Music Institute agrees with me. Now I must go inside to work on my fellowship application. 
Of course, Robert will attest for me, and so will Christina. I'm gonna have a perfect bar. I did four days or five days without 420. My cojones are huge. And I'm getting, oh, I'm not supposed to bend like that anymore. <sighs> Thank you, Kendra Wu, if that's your name. I don't know, it was Heroes and Villains Day at school today, my friends. One of my students wore a big, sexy stash and a cape. One of my adult students, I do have one. They're on the spectrum, but I find them to be so sweet and creative, the ones on the spectrum. Okay, ciao for now, bye-bye. It was such a pleasure to treat. I don't know why Jenny McCarthy and Jim McCary hated Evan so much. Do they still talk to that kid or did they lock him up like the Kennedys locked Rosemary up? Oof. Fake news about vaccines causing autism people and you know, Oprah was in the business of transparency, first and foremost, her own. That's why she has integrity. Thank you, Mensch. Thank you, Gail King. I was like, okay, Gail called it. One. And that means Gail, two, must have called it two. I was like, excuse me. What would Alice Water think? 